to my YouTube channel and in today's video we're going to try I am going to try and replace this keyboard well that's a spare part that's what I'm going to be trying to swap in what I'm going to try to replace is this keyboard here this is an HP Chromebook it's a well it's a fairly old device but it is in a nice shape and it looks as far as everything goes it look it looks really good and uh, the thing turns on and everything is working besides the keyboard the keyboard is not working it's uh, it's got lights on as far as I can see but it doesn't react to to any of these buttons so we are going to try and replace that keyboard like I said I got the spare part for it it's a bit different in color uh, this is a used spare part I am not a hundred percent sure if it's functional let's get to it First of all, let's turn this thing off. And as far as I can tell, we should start in the back of this. I can see two screws. Those are Phillips. I got a couple of Phillips screwdrivers here. So I guess I'm not going to say a whole lot. I'm just, I guess you can just watch this. Well, I guess I will make comments as, as we go, those that make sense to, to say out loud, I guess. So this rear rubber foot, whatever you call it, rest pad, is attached with, with a double-sided tape, and under that we have, a, we have three screws. So the front, so if you remove it and you, if you destroy the glue on this, it's, it's not a big deal, that's what I'm trying to say, I guess you can always re place that and the front one has uh, two screws hid hidden under it and I have a glove on my left hand because I have some skin damage so kind of have to keep it I guess this way so I guess that should be it now we probably as far as I can guess we have to remove or separate the keyboard because the keyboard is making the frame itself, I guess, and uh, the back side is just like a cover. This is not the proper tool to do this, but I don't really care that much, I guess. You should use something like plastic separator tool or a pry tool. Oh, I don't know where to start. Maybe here. Well, now I can use this plastic tool. There you go. Now that's fairly easy. It's not fighting back. Well, maybe a little. is the back cover it's all plastic so now we have a couple of things I guess comparing that to that we have a battery I guess we need to get the battery off and the battery is hooked up right here and there is the motherboard so I guess we'd have to separate the motherboard too and transfer all that I guess that's how this works this really is like a case or a frame and the you transfer all that to that and uh, I mean all the guts of this to uh, to that keyboard so to uh, call so I guess there is a couple of screws I hope it doesn't have a tape under it and the screws for the keyboard are rather short the screws for the battery are short screws so far all of these are Phillips screws and the screws for the battery uh, are really short so I guess if you're trying to replace the battery on something like this, that also can be, this can also be a how-to or a guide. So you remove the back cover and you get access to the battery and the battery is installed in place with the one, two, three screws as far as I can tell. And there's the connector for the battery. You just disconnect that. 
lift this up no there are two more screws I almost missed them in the front so I can probably make a separate video out of this for the battery replacement so if you're trying to replace the battery on this Chromebook HP Chromebook you basically pop off the back cover one two three four five six seven screws and all and then you remove one two three four five screws for the battery unplug the battery lift up the battery and just install your new battery and that's how you replace the battery on this thing and we will continue with the keyboard replacement so the battery is out of the way so i guess the fan comes off also there are two of these metal braces there's this metal this metal thing that's not present on that so let's try to uh, get the motherboard disconnected also the same type of a screw that uh, holds the battery down I can see that this needs to be pulled off and that needs to be disconnected and that needs to be disconnected this bracket needs to be removed and that bracket needs to be removed but I guess my question is how is it bigger screws how do I remove these cables because they have a certain way to plug them in or unplug them so the brackets are Phillips screws but they are a little bit bigger than battery screws silver screws well that's something that covers this type c port i don't know if this needs to be removed or not i kind of think it should not and we need to pull this thing well probably let's try and deal with the fan also a small silver screw there's another one okay the fan or the blower comes off and it just disconnects by pulling the connector okay so this stays attached to the keyboard I kind of think this should go this way because and there's a cable because those are hinges and there are cables on both sides of this so we have to see where they go and I'm trying to figure out what's holding it in place besides those cables okay, so this is a separate unit I guess and, uh, aha so this little piece so this board has to go this way and it just popped off instead of so I was trying to okay so what I'm trying to say was kind of I was kind of trying I was trying to keep this board attached to this cable because it's just cable that spans from this board to the motherboard I guess you can just pull these things off like so okay i figured it out well some of it there is no screws there is no more screws left and uh, we disconnect this connector that is uh i guess whatever that is a speaker and then the next thing to do is to lift this up this is the motherboard and you really don't need to disconnect any uh, so these are the uh, the screen cables there's a few tapes but and I figured out how to disconnect those connectors uh, stupid me it's kind of easy I'll show you in a second the screen cables that actually are attached to the screen and this is the keyboard I hope this keyboard is uh, well I know it's not working but I hope that that replacement keyboard is uh, is in a better shape or in a working condition as far as cables go well yeah, I don't I don't see anything else here that, uh, that would be really holding us up or is needed right so there is a small strip 
Oh, I guess it's not in the center, but I can do a close up, I guess. There's a small strip across the connector that you flip up and that releases the cable. Well, now we're ready to get this in place and we're ready to start reassembly process, I guess. I don't think I need this cable. Yeah, I don't know why they left it here because there is only double sided tape that holds it in place. Everything else seems to be fine. Now we're ready to start getting this, these things back in place. So we'll flip this motherboard back on. Like so. I guess we can plug some of these cables and uh, well, yeah, we can start plugging cables back in and uh, the display cables also have to go back in place. In any case, I don't know if it makes sense to really talk about things here or uh, show what, what I'm about to do because I have to basically put all those things back on, plug this cable, plug these cables in, uh, route these display cables in, plug the speaker in, uh, attach the fan, and uh, yeah, and at that point I can plug the battery in and uh, and we can do a test. So let's, uh, yeah, I guess let's keep forward when I have to, to a point where I have the battery in place so we can do a, a test of this keyboard. And uh, yeah, because it's all basically you just plug all the connectors back in, like I said, and reinstall all the screws. Uh, there is no trickery really with uh, the motherboard installation and all. It's all fairly straightforward. You just have to be careful uh, with uh, the display cables, I guess, because the hinges go and the, uh, they swing. The display goes open and closed and, uh, well, the So I guess the only thing is that you have to really be careful about the display cables because the hinges and things move around when you open and close the display. And uh, uh, yeah, I guess that's... Uh, that's pretty much all. So let's uh, let's do all this and uh, see if uh, if we have any success with the keyboard with this keyboard replacement. So at this point, I have all the screws back where they belong, and uh, the next thing we can do is plug in the battery. I hope nothing goes kaboom. Let's uh, check it out. Just don't feel any positive type of uh, motion or action on this connector, kind of weird. So I'm going to temporarily reinstall this cover so you can flip this thing upside down and uh, can open this up. Let's see what happens. I can see a reflection of myself. So I can see lights if I turn this off. Oh yeah, this brightness button works. So that works. The speaker button works. What else do we have? Well, I guess at this point we can browse as a guest. So the touch pad is working, which is good news. So that opens up. Can we test the keyboard? A. Well, I don't have to go ABC. I can just zero minus plus. What else? Control. A, B, C, D, whatever, and backspace. I wonder why the backspace is not working. That's really strange. Because everything else seemed to, this also enter works. Well, this is a little bit strange, I guess. Because everything seems to work except for the backspace. In any case, I don't know if I can call this a success or not. The backspace button doesn't do anything. I wonder what the deal is. Well, I don't know if this is a success or not, but if you are 100% sure that you buy a good working uh, part, like the keyboard in this case, you can just do this uh, replacement, swap it, and this is the process to do it. There is nothing else on the inside of this laptop or a Chromebook in a sense that um, like RAM or hard drive replacement, this is all um, right there. There's nothing there to replace. 
except for maybe this is the storage right here that could be the storage I suppose this could be the hard drive unless unless no that's uh, a Wi-Fi or something so I don't see any hard drive or a RAM or something like that that can be really swapped unless it's somewhere under a like a cover or something like that but I guess that's uh, that's all for now that's all for this video all we have to do is uh, put the cover back on put these seven screws back on and reinstall these rubber feet and that should conclude this video so uh, well I'm a little bit upset or disappointed that the, the backspace button is kind of not doing much but uh, oh well this is it for now.